one of the most controversial um, and sort of fraught aspects of um, the the snakehead business um, is the question of motivation and free will um, on the part of the people who are being uh, transported. And this gets to a kind of tricky semantic distinction, which is slightly slippery, but I think very uh, relevant here, um, which is the difference between human trafficking and human smuggling. How would you define Chinese human smuggling? Smuggling or trafficking? Well, smuggling and then into trafficking. Okay, so smuggling is illegally bringing one person, someone from one country to another. Um, that can be done in many, many ways, from getting them false passports to come over on an airplane to hiding them under a car when they're coming through the border. And then how does that differ from trafficking? So trafficking is the bringing someone to another country, or if you're talking about international country, it's bringing someone from one country to another by force, fraud, or coercion for the purpose of using them for slavery, forced labor, indentured servitude, debt bondage. It's different based upon the way people look at you even. I mean, we think trafficking, we think, oh, victim, we have to help this person, we feel sorry. Whereas smuggling, we think of you as you're an opportunist, you're taking advantage of the American system, which is crazy because literally it's a hair different that uh, differentiates the two. You know, first of all, in terms of kind of labor standards in the United States, the notion of moving a child so that they can go and work somewhere uh, is kind of intrinsically problematic. Um, but second, I think that the, you know, as I suggested, the kind of irony and the difficulty of the snakehead trade is that when it's consenting adults entering into these kinds of contracts and saying, I know that these terrible things may happen to me, but these are the risks I'm willing to take. Um, from an ethical and even from a legal point of view, it's difficult for American authorities to kind of intervene in that situation. I mean, they, they do, and, and you could argue that they should, but it's difficult for them to intervene and say, no, no, this is not right. Uh, we need to spare you this exploitation. Um, when it's a child, uh, you know, without the, the, the wherewithal or the judgment or the freedom to make those kinds of determinations. And, and I think also arguably without a really solid understanding of what those risks might involve before they ever leave their village in the first place. Um, I think that you have uh, someone who, you know, more often than not is going to be um, a victim in a fairly straightforward sense that, uh, that often with the adults who are transported by snakeheads, you don't.